Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and today I've got this absolutely rare, very, very rare vintage 1964 BSA Trail Run. And uh, if you take a close look at this thing, it's all original. The, the paint on the tank is original, the seat is original, the rear fender is original. The trail prom originally came with no front fender, so they did add a fender, they did add a tail light in an attempt to make it street legal, I believe. It might have had a headlight at one point, but it's, uh, um, it's, uh, it was originally designed for off-road riding and racing. And I actually have an article from Motocross Action Magazine I'm going to read you some excerpts from. But well, before I do that, I want Kenny to come up a little close here and take us some close-ups of this bike. You can see the original grips, the original levers, the original handlebars, the original chrome. On the tank, it shows you the premix uh, measure oil per gallon, two measures of oil per gallon, and then for break-in, three measures of oil per gallon. Uh, you can see the original t uh, paint has patina on it, but as you know about antiques, they're worth more original than, than usually than they are restored. <laughs> Where are you going to find a 64 trail bike with the original seat on it? The seat on this seat is 51 years old. Rear fender is in excellent condition. The rims are in excellent condition. Uh, the chrome on them is presentable. Uh, the chrome on the forks needs to be re-chromed or painted. Uh, the um, exhaust system is not attached. It's missing the, uh, the gasket, but we checked the engine. The engine's got excellent compression, really good compression, and it appears to have been recently rebuilt. There's no rust inside of the engine. Whoops, almost dropped it. There's no, there's no rust inside of the engine and um, has the original carburetor. Take a, take a look at this carburetor right here. It has a really cool feature for the choke where you actually close this and it totally seals it off. I would venture to say that this air cleaner alone has got to be worth at least $100, maybe $200. Where are you going to find one? But um, the original swing arm is in good shape. The swing arm bearings are super tight. No play in the swing arm bearings. Rear wheel is in great shape and it has a big sprocket on the back. Uh, you can take some close-ups of the original graphics. Uh, are excellent. They're a presentable condition. You can see the, the pony the trail front. But uh, I'll read you a little bit about it. The B when BSA introduced the Made for USA 1964 trail bra, the, the ads professed the bra was ideal for those who want to a wilderness wandering, wandering, hunting trips, or just exploring off the beaten track. And included a picture of the machine being loaded in the back of a station wagon. The ad said, fits in your station wagon or car trunk. This bike's been obviously uh, stored indoors. You can see the super logo on the side of the engine is in excellent condition. Um, the Bantam was based on a proven 175cc two-stroke engine initially introduced in 1948. Though built in BSA's Birmingham factory, the actual design was from the German DKW RT125, which BSA received as part of World War II reparations, interestingly enough. Production numbers are estimated as high as 500,000 units produced by BSA, of which there are very few known left that exist. Uh, most of them are right in the ground. So uh, in 1965, the Trail Bronco originally sold for just under $400. Um, the early years of Motocross Museum has one of these on display in their museum right now. And I have the NADA Blue Book value right here I can show you uh, on this motorcycle. The Bantam uh, Super or the Super Deluxe is actually has a retail value of $3,280 for number one. 1610 for a number two and 1340 for a number three and a pile of parts which is what a number four is uh, is a thousand five so in very easy to restore a motorcycle it's worth well over three thousand uh, dollars could sell for more at auction um, we have a real low reserve on this or no reserve on it low starting bid hope it goes to a good home it's a fantastic bike the um the 125 cc d1 model was, was offered from 48 to 53 the 148cc D3 were sold from 54 to 57, and the 175 D7, which is what I believe this one is, was from 58 to 66. Street going trials and trail models were built during the D7 production years. Uh, it has an upsw upswept exhaust, uh, long saddle, Dunlop sport tires, and original hydraulic suspension. The um, 47 tooth trail sprocket was included, included with all the trail bronchs. I think that's what this is, the 47 tooth trail sprocket. It's a huge sprocket. I've never, frankly, I've never seen one that big on a dirt bike. Originally, BSA did not consider the Bantam a race bike, but after owners began modifying the Bantams, BSA responded with trials, mods, and in 63, a stripped down D7 called the Trail Bronc, which is what this is. So this is the stripped down racing model. Dunlop 300 by 19 tires, a semi-upswept exhaust. BSA claimed it was free-flowing. 
high ground clearance, no front fender, and a larger sprocket or standard equipment on the 63 Bantam. Another concession to off-road riding was the folding footrest, and it actually had passenger rest if you wanted to bring your girlfriend for a ride on it. Um, power output from the three-speed 175C engine was a crisp eight horsepower, so it would ride, do wheelies, a lot of fun to ride. BSA, BSA importer in Oakland, California asked BSA to build this entry-level machine for the U.S. market, but it's released corresponding with the introduction of the Yamaha 80cc trail bike. So uh, there was a lot of competition. Additionally, BSA dealers focused on mostly larger machine, mostly larger machines. So um, this bike, uh, there weren't uh, that many of them in, in the United States. Uh, I don't believe there are that many now. This bike was made in England. Um, some were imported to the U.S. You can see it has original made in England. Actually, the original factory de uh, decal or, or writing paint uh, on the frame made in England. So uh, this was on display at the New England Motorcycle Museum. It has a Schuster Cycle Sales BSA motorcycle sticker on the back of it. It was only sold in Pratt Street, Southington, Connecticut. So that sticker is right on there. And uh, the bike's being sold to raise funds for the museum restorations. Excellent starting point for a restoration. Bikes pretty much, uh, you know, uh, in ex outstanding condition for a 64. So um, it's gonna need some restoration, some engine work, and uh, some accessories, but it's all there. Again, money's going to a good cost in the museum. If you have any questions, call me, 860-916-9784. Good luck bidding, God bless.